What's going on guys? I hope you're all doing well. I've got a nice short and sweet one for you today and I just wanted to showcase this really cool DIY project that you can put together that will allow you to enhance the lighting on your P1 and X1 series of Bamboo Lab printers. The project is the BL LED controller which is a small control board designed and developed by the Dutch developer and what's really nice about this project is the fact that it doesn't require you to make any physical changes to your printer's body or your printer's wiring. Instead, the board communicates directly with the printer. Being able to communicate with the printer directly allows the controller to do a couple of really cool things, like being able to use the same touchscreen button to turn the new LEDs on and off, getting coloured alerts for things like printer completions and printer errors, and also dynamically being able to turn the lights on and off depending on whether the printer is doing a LiDAR scan. For this project, you'll need the BL LED controller, a power supply, some RGB CT LEDs, and you'll also need to make use of your 3D printer and you'll need to print yourself an LED riser, which comes in four separate parts, which all nicely snap together by making use of some dovetail joints. The BL LED comes in two different variants. You've got the standard version and also the extended version. With the extended version, as you can see, you're gonna get this small Wi-Fi antenna, which attaches to the board to give it some enhanced Wi-Fi range. The boards themselves come housed inside of these simple snap fit 3D printed cases and Pascal's also shared the schematics for these in case you want to print these in your own colours or maybe you want to modify the design itself. You'll find links for everything that you need for the project as well as a link to the Dutch developers website all in the description below. If we take a look at the BL LED you'll see we've got access to a couple of different screw terminals. These screw terminals are used for power and also for the LED channels. On the side of the device you'll see that we've got a USB-C port and this port is used for flashing our device. If we pop the case open you'll see that the device is powered by an ESP chip and this is great because you can flash this with ESP Home, WLED or any other firmware that you want to use to control the device and your LEDs but we'll come back to this in just a second. Dutch developer has written his own firmware that will talk directly with the printer using MQTT and this is ideal for anyone that wants more or less a simple plug and play controller and doesn't want to make use of any kind of controls for smart homes and just wants a simple controller that will just mimic the Bamboo Lab LEDs. Over at the Dutch developer's website, he's got an extensive guide that runs through the full setup and installation process and essentially it just consists of you plugging the device into your computer, loading the latest firmware and then filling in some credentials such as your Wi-Fi credentials, your printer's IP address and its access code. Once you've done that, the remainder of the project just consists of you 3D printing those parts that you need for the LED razor and then assembling everything. With everything assembled, you'll be able to use the printer's touchscreen to turn your new lights on and off and these will just mimic the Bamboo Lab LEDs. You'll also start getting those notifications using lights where you'll get the green light for print completions and you'll get the red light for any print errors. As an additional thing, you can also go to the IP address of your BL LED controller and you'll be able to toggle on a couple of additional features. Some of them are things like a colour cycle mode where it will just cycle through a bunch of different colours. You can also adjust the brightness here. You may remember that I mentioned this thing's got an ESP chip and because of this we can flash the device with our own firmware like ESP Home or WLED and of course start making use of it in Home Assistant. With the device in Home Assistant, we can control it like we would with any other smart light. So we can start automating it, we can adjust the temperature, colour, and do everything you would normally do in an automation or a script. If you combine this with the Bamboo Lab integration, which is available through Hacks, then you'll gain access to a lot of the printer's entities, controls, and other bits of information, which you can start using within your own Home Assistant automations. This could be things like setting the lights to a specific colour based on a printer state, it could be having the lights turn on if the door opens and closes and you could also mimic what the Dutch developers done where you have the lights turn on when you press that button. Because the project's open source and you can flash the device freely it's up to you how you want to control it but it is really nice that the Dutch developer has provided a simple solution to get everybody started. And there we go guys that's been a very quick look at the BL LED. Again, everything you need to get started with this project is all linked in the description below and also available at the Dutch developer's site. If you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more community spotlight videos like this, then let me know in the comments below. Additionally, if you're interested in seeing a follow-up tutorial where I run through the full setup and installation of this project, 
then again, let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, let me know all of those things. Don't forget to drop this video a like and also hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos. And finally, a massive thank you to these awesome dudes. These awesome dudes are my Patreons and also my YouTube members. And if you're interested in helping support my channel and becoming one of these awesome dudes, then you'll find links to all of the places that you can go to support me, all in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.